Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, and like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, I wanted to get on here and give you guys a little update on the channel, what's going on with me and everything. Uh, so first off, I'll start with our recent snowstorm we had here on the coast of North Carolina a few weeks ago. Uh, it snowed a total of four inches, guys, four inches of snow. And it's very rare to see snow in this part of the area because, uh, you know, I live 15 minutes from the beach, guys. So uh, seeing snow around this area, uh, it's very rare and uh, it was fun you know the first day was all fun you know I had a day off from work I know a lot of people had you know the day off from work or uh, if you're a student you had you know school was out so you know it was a great day for everyone uh, for some people you know some people had still had to go to work and stuff but uh, but yeah it was a great day you know got out there and played in the snow I took a couple of my RC vehicles that I have not ran in quite some time uh, and actually, I took my new RC Battle Tank, well, not new, it's used, but new to me, the uh, M5 Stewart, Stewart Tank. <laughs> I keep getting that mixed up sometimes. But it's the Stewart Tank, it's a 1-6 scale uh, RC Battle Tank, humongous uh, beast. Took that out there in the snow for first time. It was the first time it actually went outside since I owned it. Um, and it did great. It chopped through that snow like no problem whatsoever. The torque ability and the crawling ability in that thing is just amazing. Uh, so it did really great. I took out some of my other construction vehicles that I have. The excavator, my track loader. I took those out uh, to have a little fun in the snow. They did great. Uh, now also that day of the snowstorm was on Thursday. Um, my camera, my uh, JVC Everon camcorder, the one I use for all my videos, right down to the ones where I'm talking, uh, doing uh, you know the videos and builds and stuff like that. That's the camera that I would use. I don't have it with me. It's in my other uh, room right now. But uh, the day that I was actually going to film the video with the tank, that battery shot on me. And I've been having problems with that battery for quite some time because it was aftermarket battery and uh, I was having problems with the, uh, the wire that connects to the uh, camera. Uh, I've been having little issues with it and finally that battery just blew out on me or died on me if you want to say. And uh, so I was like, well, I had to uh, get another battery, so uh, I had to track it down and find another one, which I ordered just the other day. So it should be here by next week. Uh, so once that comes in, I can get back to doing the videos. Now, I'm the camera I'm using now, it's actually my uh, photography camera that I use to do my photo shoots and some of my film work. It's a DSR camera. Now, uh, I like using that camera for my photography and video, bur video work, but not for my RC stuff because it is pretty expensive camera, uh, a little bit big, and uh, I don't really like taking it out there and filming uh, the vehicles because I don't want it to get dirty and muddy and, and stuff like that. And uh, it's just a lot of equipment to carry around. And with the JVC Everon, it's small, it's compact, it's easy to tote around. I can put that thing right in my pocket and just, uh, go on down the trails or wherever I'm at. So um, that's the camera I use for all my videos. So all the videos you've seen here on the channel is done by that uh, camcorder which shoots in 1080p HD video. And it's just extremely awesome little camera. I love it. And so I wanted to get that thing back in operation before I do any other videos. Because like I said, the DSR camera is great for my photography and video, photo, uh, video shoots that I do. But um, for my RC wise, I just don't like to use it uh, because you know it's a expensive camera. And the second thing is, is that it makes my RCs look very, very small, just like yeah, you know, small. Like when I shot the video with the Stewart tank back there, it just looked small. And really, this thing is humongous, as you can see back there on the uh, work stand. It's actually big, and uh, and so it made my RC just look kind of small like this like it's an actual toy which you know they're they are toys but hobby grade toys you know but um so that's the reason why I don't like using it for my uh for doing my videos with my RCs I I tried using it in the past and it's just it's just not what I was looking for and so with the JVC Everon uh you know it does a lot better focus points are faster on it and it picks up really great the detail and everything uh so that's the camera of my choice uh, so yeah, so that's, 
So that's one thing. Another thing I want to talk about is my uh, DJI Phantom 3 Professional Drone. Uh, I've been having some issues with that uh, recently and I just got it working now. Uh, not mechanical issues, it was uh, more of technical error. Um, something about the Apple's uh, I, I, o, o, I, I think it's iOS system or ISO system. Uh, with the recent update that Apple did, it was crashing the DJI Go app. Uh, so if you're running uh, the DJI Go app off of a Apple device, you know, either a cell phone or a tablet, it would crash it. And uh, it, but it worked fine on the Android. And the only Android that I currently own is my phone, uh, which is uh, <laughs> right here. All right. So uh, I kind of got used to running off the Apple there because a lot larger screen and all and this right here has a smaller screen and plus this is kind of an older smartphone Android uh, the processor is not really that fast enough to keep up with the video feed so that's why I went and got an Apple iPad uh, for the for the drone so I could see a bigger screen and see where I'm at and, and what pictures I'm taking and stuff and the videos as well so uh, that uh, with the uh, Apple's ISO or whatever uh, program was crashing the DJI Go app so DJI had to get up with Apple about it and finally they sent out a new update on it which I received it just the other day and uh, so my iPad is in operational now and the drone is in operational so now I can get back out there and do some more uh, drone footage and, and get some photography pictures in because I've been missing that I've been wanting to uh, take it out uh, the last few weeks here now to uh, get some video footage of the sunsets and of course the snow really wanted to get pictures of the snow in the area and uh, just couldn't do it with uh, the app being down and I didn't want to use the and you know my Android or my smartphone to, to do that because look at the screen and as you see it's 9:57 p.m. says so the window black back there <laughs> but um I just got really used to seeing that nice big screen there so I was like I'm not going back to the days I ran off my cell phone to do it uh, I'm gonna stick to more modern day stuff so yeah so uh, yeah so uh, that was a few things I wanted to share with you guys so uh, you know once I get the battery in for my other camera uh, I can get out there and start doing some more uh, videos for you guys I really do miss doing them uh, and another thing is just finding the time to do it because you know I work I have a full-time job so I work Monday through Friday and then I'm off on the weekends and uh, usually on the weekends I'm either doing a photography shoot or I'm doing my uh, side business which is auto detailing so a lot of people call me up to detail their vehicle so just trying to find the, the time to actually get out and uh, and do these videos that's the only thing uh, I do have a few projects that I want to work on. I, I do have another uh, Hummer uh, body build project that I want to uh, try to adapt to my uh, uh, the M1025 Hummer that I worked on last year. So uh, I got that and uh, some other things I could work on. Now uh, I want to talk about this year for the channel. Um, you know, I set my some goals last year to hit the 5,000 subscriber mark, which I didn't hit that subscriber mark, which you know is okay, you know. But I did get, I think, a total of 45 new subscribers in uh, 2017, which is awesome. Uh, I'm still getting a few subscribers, so that's great. I noticed that my uh, that tells me that my channel's not really dead as long as I keep uploading videos, uh, which is something I need to get back into doing. It's just getting these videos out there for you guys to watch. Uh, but yeah, so uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought what I was actually talking about there. Um, but yeah, so uh, for this year, I you know plan on getting back and you know, doing more of the videos for you guys. Uh, now, one question: somebody asked me, will I be getting any new RC video, uh, any new RC vehicles for 2018? And to be honest with you guys, I really don't know right now. Uh, right now, my money is kind of like tied up right now. I just actually purchased a new vehicle, so my payment's kind of raised up a little bit. So I kind of have to look at that uh, that vehicle more than my RCs here. So, um, so I really don't know if I'll be getting any new RC vehicles this year. If I do, 
uh, it'll be awesome. I have been looking at some several different ones that I like to get. It's just you know coming up with the money to do it. But, uh, you know I have to work and make my bills. You know bills come first. You know I got to make sure that those are paid before I spend any money on my RC hobby. So so uh, hopefully maybe this year I might get some if I run into some type of money. Uh, hopefully I'll win the lottery. Maybe I, you know one day I'll hit the lottery and yeah I can just buy whatever RC I want. But uh, when that, until that day comes, I'll just have to uh, work with what I have now. My, my crawlers, my tanks, my boats, uh, construction vehicles I have, the, uh, the drone and stuff. I just have to work with what I have now. So I hope you guys stick with me on the channel. Uh, I promise you I'm going to do some, uh, some, some new videos. Um, you know, maybe some stupid ones, maybe some you know, serious ones. I don't know yet. You know, so... Alright guys, so uh, that's all I have to say, so uh, I will see you guys in the next upcoming video, whatever it's going to be. Uh, make sure you check out the channel's Facebook page, it's facebook.com forward slash rc84films. Make sure you check it out, the way you can see pictures and videos of stuff that I can't post right here on YouTube. Alright guys, so with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.